We're in a museum in the Rio de Janeiro, and I've come here to look at a periodic table, but I've discovered something else that's really exciting. Some of you may know that I'm obsessed with plastic bottles. I have a big collection of them in my office. And I came here and discovered they're making molecular models with them. Look at this one over here. It's all made out of plastic bottles and yellow plastic pipe. And I think it's really clever. And let me show you how they do it. Because you could do it at home or in your school and make huge models like this. So what they have done is they have taken the tops of plastic bottles and cut them off. You see just this part here. And then they have taken several of them and joined them together to make atoms. Here you can see an atom of carbon, which is tetrahedral. And then they've just used the top of the bottle to make a hydrogen atom. And they can take pieces of plastic pipe cheap pipe that you can buy in shops so you can screw them together and make bonds and this one they painted red and so suddenly out of plastic bottles you can make fantastic molecular models I've always wanted a big molecular model and now here it is made out of plastic bottles I really like this because it's a very clever use of bottles, something that everybody has, something that people throw away. And also, it's very difficult to get big models. They're very expensive, and they're not what you want. The colors are wrong. And here you can make them yourself. And also, I really like the plastic that this is made of, PET, because I do research on terephthalic acid, the molecule that goes into these bottles. So it combines my research, my interest in chemistry, and it's just fun. So go and make some yourself. So here, I've discovered something else that's good, because you probably know that molecules are not rigid, they vibrate. And here you can show the vibrations. It's really good. I wish I could take some of these back to England, but I'll have to make them myself. <laughs>